Hi, my name is Justin Hall. Recently, I sat down with writer Quinn Norton to hear how we might reclaim our systems of mutual care. We live in an age where falling in love, going to war, and filling out tax forms looks the same. <laughs> We're stuck using 20th century metaphors to describe a whole swath of our life. They're lived you know, physically through screens, but in a technology that makes our personal lives social. I extensively covered Occupy and Anonymous for Wired. One of the things I certainly saw when I was doing the Occupy coverage was people trying to create systems of mutual care. Not only is that because institutions were failing, but I think the even more important reason is because that's what gave our lives meaning for 12,000 years. And when we invented all these institutions to take care of all these different aspects of human life, we were slowly eroding what gave human life meaning. And we're using the internet and systems of mutual care and communication to take that back. When I look at emergent organizations or non-organizations like Anonymous or Occupy or any of these other entities that I like to study, I see the ability to kind of quickly coordinate, do many things at once and then fade into the background. A capability that I don't see any precedent in history for. I'm a total history buff, which shapes everything I do. But I, you know, that is something that seems new. And on the one hand, I could see that being a tremendously positive power in the world. You know, you bring up things like Steuben villains, where these emergent things are trying to hold people accountable. Or over a longer time period, if you look at open source projects, you know, this is building infrastructure in this emerging cooperative way with roles that form and fade as time goes by. That's great. But I could also see this becoming horrible. I could see like the, the, the kind of a join or die lynch mobs turning the world into a, a, a gray landscape where, where nothing creative was ever allowed to happen. That's like my dystopian version of the thing I study. But this, this kind of top-down approach that we've worked to date is just not working for us. It's not gonna work. Obviously ecologically, but I actually think we're in an even bigger social crisis than we are ecological crisis. People just don't have a, a sense of where they are in the world. They, they know there's seven billion other people out there. They don't know what they think of each other. And that's not really, that's not good on the human mind. Like, we're not geared to know there's seven billion of us. We, we want to know, we want to have an opinion on all the other humans. <laughs> so that's kind of built in. We want to know their opinion of us. And that's part of that adjustment to the network life. It's like, yeah. holy smokes, now the network is showing me all these people. Yes. And what am I supposed to do with the access to all that human connection? Yeah. yeah. Um, we just, we haven't created the language or the social structures or the education around getting people used to that idea. That you're going to live, you know, thousands of miles away from billions of people, but microseconds. Um, what else? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider making a pledge to support future episodes of The Justin Hall Show. Visit my Patreon page for more information. Here's the URL. Thanks for your time.